welcome to Caravan Escapades. Hope everybody's keeping safe and well. Um, well, I'm off to MG Caravans today to have a little bit of warranty work done. Uh, basically, the black decal on the top has kind of bubbled up and needs replacing. But I'm also getting them to fit a TV wall bracket on the side of the wardrobe. Um, so, yeah, I'm off there to have that done. But as it happens, Specialized Covers uh, have been very kind and sent me their new Toe Pro Infinity Elite uh, to trial for them and compare against our existing Toe Pro. Uh, sorry, our, our existing Toe Pro Elite. So uh, quite excited for that. Uh, fitted it yesterday or last night, just before I left early this morning. Uh, and I've got that on the back now. Um, I'm going to do a more comprehensive review on uh, on the comparisons between the Toe Pro Elite and the Toe Pro Infinity Elite uh, in an upcoming vlog. Um, but so far, seems not a bad cover. Uh, difference with the Infinity is that it actually extends above the front windows and covers the panoramic windows as well. Um, so I'll give you a bit of an update throughout today on that, but do a full comprehensive vlog um, sometime in the future. See you in a bit. So I'm just about to arrive back at MG Caravans or MG Caravans again. You guys have seen this a few times anyway when I've vlogged when I've been coming down here um, so let's just kind of follow in there the one thing we need to keep a lookout for is Graham the caravans vlogger caravan is here at the moment having its E and P fitted um, so maybe can we spot and see this famous caravan who knows so we're just going to turn in now oh, the gates are shut so I'm probably gonna have to jump out and just pull the gates back I've done this before anyway so let's just jump out the car so let's pull it in without hopefully scraping it on anything make sure we don't catch the fence is Graham's inside or is it one of these out here the gate and everything mr bell look there it is there's the famous old oh, graham you could have cleaned it before you got here look at the state of that so there's mr bell's caravan emp etc oh look it's being raised up right i shall get it unhitched and we'll see you soon okay graham i apologize i've just given you grief for the state of your caravan but i must admit i've just come down uh, and unhitch mine after travelling down and you can see it's in a bit of a state oh my goodness me look at the back of it it's awful oh dear so going to need to be washing that so it's the same all the way round but the cover did its job So I've just left MG Caravans, uh, work's all carried out. The bits I've kind of had uh, done, other than the upgrade is, I snapped one of the um, one of the bed struts at the front when we were out last time, uh, doing the classic thing of kneeling on it on the middle of the bed and it snapped. So that was my own fault for doing that. So they've done that for me. They've replaced the decal uh, on the top, the big swift black one that was starting to bubble up. And they've also replaced one of the, uh, the knobs on the oven. Um, that kind of lost a little metal tag inside so it wasn't kind of gripping on the shaft very well and it was just kind of slipping when you turned it around so replace that for me and then the upgrade that I've had done is basically having the TV bracket and all the associated electrics and aerial points that sort of stuff put on the side of the wardrobe so what I'll probably do is when uh, when I get home and I get the, the caravan out the front of the house I'll probably just nip inside uh, and show you what they've done I thought I'd have a bit of a chat to you while I'm on my way home, uh, fill a bit of time, that sort of stuff, just about this and that really. Um, so I was chatting with MG uh, about the uh, the forthcoming February show at the NEC uh, and they were telling me it's not kind of one of the bigger shows, um, smaller than the, uh, the October show, but should be still good. Uh, like they were saying, Swift aren't going to be there anyway, um, so they're not taking a full contingency of staff. 
Um, but this show, the February show, probably focuses more on kind of accessories and that sort of thing. But they were saying from their point of view, the best show for them is obviously the October show. They make more sales in the October show, that sort of stuff. So I think it will still be a good show, but obviously a smaller one. So the other thing, uh, what's all this hoo-ha about the gas bottles? I'm obviously aware that Cala are um, stopping production of their smaller bottles, but is it really an issue? Uh, you know, there seems to have been a, a lot of hoo-ha and shock horror and that sort of stuff. So me as a caravanner and, and probably the same as the rest of these caravanners, um, I've never carried those smaller bottles anyway. So it's not really been an issue to me. Um, maybe not, whether it's different for motorhomers, that sort of thing, I don't know. But even if I guess if you were a caravanner and you use those small bottles to keep the weight down, that sort of stuff, I guess it's just a case of having to change your pigtail just so you've got the right regulator, you know, to connect your bottles, that sort of thing. I guess it might affect campers uh, a bit more. You know, they're going to have to take around with them uh, bigger bottles. I, I haven't looked into it um, probably as deeper as other people have, but what I understand, it is literally just kind of is it the 3kg bottles that they're not going to be using anymore or they're not going to be supplying anymore. You know, has it been a big hoo-ha over nothing? Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I suppose something else to chat about is the what seems to be an utter farce with the uh, the caravan and motorhome club's new website and booking system that sort of thing they've obviously introduced deposits uh, which i don't necessarily think is a bad thing it probably brings them in line with other people but from my experience the website is just not user friendly anymore um you know it, it just doesn't feel right i mean we haven't had as such any trouble in in booking sites it just seems to have been more difficult to do so one of the issues we had recently and i think some of the others have kind of had it is we've obviously paid a deposit and that sort of stuff and selected pay on arrival um, for the rest of them now we had some vouchers bought for us at christmas so when we went to black knoll i'd selected pay on arrival for the remainder of the balance after we paid the deposit got to the site and found out that the caravan and motorhome club had already taken out the rest of the money from my bank account which i was a bit miffed at to be fair um talking to the wardens there it was a problem with the website which they've uh, they've rectified now i don't know whether anybody else has had the same situation but i just felt that actually you know you'd selected on the website you paid your deposit you selected to pay the balance on arrival but lo and behold and i think it was about two o'clock in the morning that they'd basically taken the, the, the rest of the balance or the remainder of the balance out so that i, I yeah just annoyed with that what are they going to do about this website i don't know uh, one of the features we really used to enjoy was you could just put in a couple of dates you wanted to check availability and you can literally search the whole uk for availability on sites for those dates don't seem to be able to do that anymore you've almost got to select an area you've got to select a site see if they've got availability and what we used to like to do was kind of just make some last minute decisions put in the dates we wanted to go do a uk wide search for availability sort of almost last minute few days before and then kind of scroll through the couple of pages that came up that had availability and select something that took your fancy but that just doesn't seem to be an option anymore let me know what you guys think about the uh, the new caravan and motorhome club website from what i've been reading on various forums and facebook pages and that sort of stuff it really is uh, a big issue we do like the caravan and motorhome club membership and we do feel that we get our money's worth for you know for what we pay each year we don't obviously just use it for site bookings we use it for insurance we use it for their overseas offers uh, and all these sorts of stuff so at the moment i'm not going to cancel our membership and we are members of both clubs more so really for the kind of benefits we get uh, i've got made a breakdown cover um, reasonably happy with that as i say we kind of use their overseas site bookings not for all the sites but some of the sites when we uh, we go away we have put ferries with them before uh, we do the kind of um, red pennant insurance that sort of stuff so uh, we're going to keep our membership certainly for the time being and just see what happens but you know they are i think going to have to kind of do something about the website anyway that's a bit of a waffle for now it's just feeling a bit more time Speaks in a bit.
I'll just give you a bit of an update as well on the uh, Tow Pro Infinity Elite cover. Obviously took it off when I got to uh, to MG and it was dirty, it was wet, that sort of stuff and kind of had to fold it in on itself and put it in the back of the car. That doesn't make any difference really whether it's a Tow Pro Infinity Elite or whether it's just a Tow Pro Elite or any towing cover for that matter you know depending on the weather conditions you're always going to have an issue with a towing cover if you've been towing when the conditions are wet damp and dirty uh, it has got pretty grimy uh, it is quite dirty so what we probably have to do is give it a good old clean after we get home or after i get home uh, spread it out i mean normally what i do is take it inside lay it out on the floor uh, and, and kind of wipe it down with a with a warm cloth so we'll see how we get on with that but do watch out there will be a vlog coming out in the next few weeks really just to give you a good comparison what we think of the uh, the tow pro infinity compared to the normal sort of tow pro elite i have kind of been in touch with uh, with tow pro today just kind of discussing some of the uh, you know possible very small design change which hopefully will make it slightly easier to fit and uh, we'll bring you up to date on those soon anyway so keep a look out for that vlog as soon as it's out there i'll let you know just a reminder as well we do have a really friendly facebook group uh, if you're interested in being part of that uh, all you need to do really is just search facebook for caravan escapades and you'll find that but this is the address to go i'll put a link in the descriptions as well so if you're interested in being part of our friendly facebook group head over there do a quick search for Caravan Escapades on Facebook uh, and, and join in with the fun. We're not on Twitter or um, what's the other one? Not Pinterest, what do they call it? You know, I'm really not up to speed with these socials. Twitter and Instagram, that's it, Instagram. Uh, maybe we'll have to kind of get used to those, but I wouldn't say I'm a technophobe, but there's certainly things, Twitter and Instagram are things that I've not used before, but maybe, who knows, in the future, we'll give them a go. So back home now, uh, caravan's on the drive, I'm all set up. So let's take a look at what MG have done for me. Uh, not gonna be able to check the decal, it's too dark already and I've still got the kind of turn cover on. So we'll take a look at that another time. But that's pretty much straightforward. The problem with it was it was bubbling up um, and it was replaced under warranty. So the other bit um, is we've got a loose oven knob. So that's all on there nice and tight. There's a little metal clip inside there uh, that have come loose. The other job was, as I'd explained, I'd kind of knelt on uh, the bed when it was out in the middle and snapped that strut. But there's a new strut all in there. Nice, all working fine. So I'm pleased with that. And the bit that I really went down there for was to have this lot fitted so that we can mount the TV up there. I know we have the TV over there, but it would have just been nice so we can kind of sit at this end of the caravan over here, watch the telly and still keep this space open. We can pull the table out, all of that sort of stuff. So they've kept all this functionality in there for me. What I've done is ask them to put me in USB, 12 volt power, the TV aerial and the 240 volt mains um, and a nice little simple TV wall mounting bracket which is good they've checked that that'll take the weight um, it's a removal one so I can mount this plate on the back of the TV and when we're traveling we can take that off and just drop the TV on I didn't want one that kind of swiveled out and pulled out because I only want it for when we're watching TV down this end. There is actually a TV point and a TV plug up at that end. Um, so if we want to put the TV up there, we can do while we're in bed. But it was just purely while we're sort of sat down in this area. So I'm really pleased with that. Let's have a look what they've done inside. Um, let me just put one of these lights on. There we go. So let's just put that light on there. Um, ah, so this is what they've done. This is nice. So they've reinforced it by putting another board in there matches in with the rest of it So that's a really good job Everything's kind of hidden away behind there. So that's ideal never even thought about that So at least we've not got um, Backs of plugs that sort of stuff here and they've added me in a splitter so that we can still use the aerial socket up there uh looks reasonably neat the only thing i probably um 
might have done differently, but I can do that. Is obviously what's behind there is kind of pushing it out a bit, and maybe just adding an additional screw, additional, additional screw in there just to hold that back. But you know what? It's not a huge problem at all. Obviously, we normally have um, clothes and that sort of thing in there. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. Looking forward to kind of getting the TV on there. Um, we've got the Avtex TV. So yeah, great little job that. So what we'll do is next time we're out and about, let me just shut this wardrobe door. Um, next time we're out and about, um, I'll add into the vlog with the TV on there and you can see what it all looks like. So really pleased, great day out. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Bit of a kind of random one, um, bit here, bit there. But watch out for the vlog coming out on the Toe Pro Infinity Elite. Um, I'll do a bit more sort of testing and that sort of thing with that. And we'll compare it to our existing Toe Pro Elite. And you can see the differences and decide whether the Infinity Elite uh, is a possible upgrade for you. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit that notification bell and you'll get notified next time a vlog comes out. And if you are watching, please subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, it certainly helps with, uh, with the channel. Give that thumbs up because that thumbs up helps with the YouTube algorithms. Anyway, that's enough waffle from me. You guys take care and we'll see you on the next one.